Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Schwigget Show. Now, on today's episode, we're going to be doing a speed build on how to create a larger circle house. Or cone house. Or, well, I'm not really sure what to call it. Um, actually, uh, after you see it, leave a comment below and let me know what you think would be the most appropriate name for this style of house. <laughs> But nonetheless, so the first step we're going to take is using some fence foundations to build a circular pattern. Now, if you watch my video, Three Quick and Easy Ways to Build Circles in Arc, it will go over in detail exactly what I'm doing here and what you need to do for this first step. And then, actually, this is probably the most important step and um, probably the most challenging step in this whole build. Everything after this is pretty straightforward and easy. Matter of fact, uh, the entire build turned out to be about a thousand pieces. So I'm not going to make you guys sit there and watch me place each individual piece. Instead, I'm going to show you a short clip of each step, maybe placing four or five pieces on each step, and then I'll jump to the next step. Actually, the only step that I'm going to play at full length is the doorway. Um, it takes a couple extra steps to pull it off properly to have a proper door and to also maintain the structural integrity of the roundhouse. So nonetheless, when we get to that step in the building process, I'll uh, stop the music and uh, elaborate a little bit more to explain what I'm doing. So at this point, um, I've basically finished the circle, and I am going to start extending it out using ceiling tiles and pillars. I'll extend it out a total of about five spaces. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so this is a spot that I said I was going to elaborate on a little bit. And basically, we need to get rid of that pillar that's in the middle of our doorway. And that pillar is actually the only pillar holding up that segment of the roundhouse. So to do this, we're just going to build another pillar off to the side and connect a ceiling tile right there to the ceiling tile that we need to keep standing. I built two, being OCD, but I'm trying to keep everything even. Uh, but nonetheless, you only need one. Um, after that, I'm just going to extend the two new pillars all the way down to the ground. And yeah, that's that. So that's kind of the, I guess, trickiest part with the roundhouse is making a proper opening. I will go ahead and comment. Um, earlier you saw me make that little overhang over the entryway. And that actually was necessary because that entryway, those two pillars out front, are holding the two ceiling tiles that are next to this ceiling tile that we're supporting right now. So it is necessary. I'm sure there's another way to go about it, but this is the way that I use. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a funnel house. <laughs> uh, but it's pretty cool, yeah? And I could think of uh, quite a few other things we could do to it. Uh, maybe a spiral staircase going up it. Um, you could definitely add levels to it, maybe even a loft. You could uh, do a moon roof, perhaps, or even balconies up top, you know, sticking out the side. But uh, yeah, lots of different possibilities here. But nonetheless, I hope everybody enjoyed this episode of The Shogat Show, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs>